Yo, 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 another episode, we're here, we're here. Me, just me and Big Bruce in the building today, bruv. Yeah, yeah, it's been a bit, um, why does it seem so long since it was just me and you in the building? Why is that so, so strange? I feel like it's not from the first one, I think there's like two episodes. Mm. Like where it was just us, but yeah. For the most part, it's crowded. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I can't even, I can't, actually... I can't even get straight into this one because usually I just go straight in, but I can't get straight into it because um yeah we have to thank the um GRM thank GRM like because it was a very it was a it was a a very dope event do you get what I'm saying with is that the GRM gala GRM gala was the best event I've I've been to not this year I think I probably ever I don't know probably in life it was just, bro free champagne free vodka free everything bro that's my night bro do you get what i'm saying and and beautiful women and um men all with the right attitude no egos in the room everyone just partying and networking it, it was it was it was it was great to see bro it was great to see like when we're all on the same wave and in the same mode it's great to see man and it, it just lets you sit back and think damn we're capable of like we're capable of like immense things together. Do you get what I'm saying? But we could all just break it down by doing our little single things. Do you know what I mean? If that makes sense. So I think I hope uh, everyone else saw it like that myself. But yeah, big up GRM, big up Bernie, big up Posty. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. So today, um, um, no, no, no. Shout out www.lexstars.co.uk. Yeah, and. We just got the news today, so get, go and get your tickets. Yeah, go and get your tickets for um, the O2 Sunday, October the 9th. Dame Dash, Tricky, Nikki Slim Ting, um, live at the O2. We're going to have a we're, uh, Indigo, Indigo O2. We're going to have a live conversation with Dame Dash. So go and get your tickets for that. It's going to be a dope night, like whatever, drinks and you know how it goes, conversation and and everything else, questions and answers, all of that. So yeah, go get your tickets, go get your tickets. Um at um Be Inspired. Is it Be Inspired Live? www dot be inspired live dot com. Yeah? Yeah, exactly. All right, cool, cool, cool. God bless you guys, man. God bless you, God bless you, and thank you for the feedback on on everything. Um yeah, let's just go straight in, man. And sometimes I wanna let people know as well, because even on the last episode, someone was telling me something come they was making a point, but it didn't concern me. Sometimes I talk, and I talk about things that concern other people, because that's why I'm pushing my heart al along with other people as well. So sometimes it's not always something to do with me. When it is, I'll put my hands up and say, this is me that I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just want to let people know that. But, yeah, man, we was having a conversation. Um, um, I was having a conversation with someone, as well, as, uh, actually, and and she came up with it and she was and then she said that the negative we we're just talking about things in life in it about children or about adults and the negative gets more highlighted than the positive in all walks of life and i did um that thing with craig mitch before and i said just just that little line that i've always noticed that you spray champagne over a man coming from prison but the man from university, he's probably got to get on the train back himself after just graduating. Do you know what I mean? So just from there, and I think it's it's mindsets that we're trying to change and trying to go in a different, um, just a total different route that we've been going in that hasn't worked. And I think it's um, from school, as I said, bro, for prime example. When I was younger, I was bad. So I just got loads of attention from the teachers. I got attention from like my parents, from the other parents, from the other teachers that would just see me next to the staff room. Even when you're on report, you're on report. So a teacher's got to check that every day and have a conversation with you. But the the average child that is just doing what he's supposed to do anyway and, 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 not, and, and not acting out of character in no way, he's not getting that attention that I'm getting. Do you get what I'm saying? And there's 30 other kids in this room. And that teacher's coming out to take me to the um, head teacher's office. 
and leave the other kids in there to just cause a madness for a little while and then and then actually fix up when she gets back. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm getting all the attention. It's like a kid. Okay, cool. Another one. You go home every day from school. Every day, every day you go home from school. Parents don't say a word to you. The moment you're late and you say you come home from school, school finishes at 3.30 and you come home from school at 4 o'clock every day. The day you come home at like 7.30, 8 o'clock in black home, I don't know how it is all over the world. You're 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 cl- it's close to death. Do you get what I'm saying? But my point being, all them days that you came in at four o'clock, it doesn't get it. It doesn't get put down. So the positive and the like, a lot of the positive behavior is just classed as normal when you're a kid. Yeah, you're supposed to be good. You're supposed to be that. But we're supposed to praise it. Because when a man's bad, you're, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. You're going crazy. So you're supposed to praise a normal man. This is what I'm saying. A normal you. Just, j- j- just, I'm not saying praise a you. So when someone's going to jump in and say, what, do I praise my you just for going to school? No, you don't. But you could praise him on an occasion and say, no. Nah. I've noticed like for, for the last how long? And it seems weird what I'm saying now just because We've never done it. Do you get what I'm saying? Just because we've never done it, it seems so weird that I'm even saying this. But we're just giving... I'm just trying to show you points that from the ground up where we're praising, like, negative behaviour. Like, we praise it. And we, and we don't even understand that we praise it because when I was bad... And then I done something good. I got something for doing, getting something good for doing something good. Where the average kid is doing something good every day, bro, and not getting nothing. This is why sometimes, and where people will say, "Where's your point leading to?" Because kids are not afraid to be bad. Do you know what I mean? It is, but if you're praising the good, then they don't need to cry out for help. Everyone wants attention, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? So that kid doing what he's doing every day and doing all his work good and this, that and the other, he still wants attention. But because he's just doing everything good, you're not getting no attention. Think about it. And it's not it's not a bad thing on the parents because we've, we, we've actually been designed like this. That, no, he's supposed to go to school. He's supposed to come back on time. He's supposed to get his, his uniform on. He's supposed to eat his breakfast. He's supposed to do his homework when he comes in. All of these things he's doing, so he's passing. And when man was bad, man was doing everything of that, the opposite. No homework, like eating my breakfast, going out, not even carrying my, not even wearing my blazer, wearing trainers to school when it's supposed to be shoes. Do you get what I'm saying? And these things go on through life, but what was we saying about? And and you know who's a big part to do because this is all part of. Changing the mindsets of these youths here, bro. So, more of them want to be good than wanting to be bad. Simple as. And that's why I told you even before, it's got a lot to do even with the women. Because if the women are looking at, like, um, um, we're, we're so cool to say, because I, I do, we do it willy-nilly, isn't it? Yeah, 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 I went to prison. But if women were... Uh, do you get what I'm saying? Uh, and there was really the normal average man going to do his nine to five and he's ending up with the penis one on the block. Even from 16 when he's got his little paper around job at 15, 14 and this, that and the other. And women were trained like to say like, nah, anyone who's a touch bad, that's disgusting to me. It's nasty. Do you get what I'm saying? But as we said, it's not, it's not looked at as nasty. It's looked at as nice and it's looked at as dang- it, like they like the danger. Do you get what I'm saying? So women are more attracted to that. So that even drives certain men to even go in that direction because it looks cool. Because it looks cool. And the kids are seeing that, nah, man, he ain't got the, the my man who's doing all his work in school, he ain't got the girl. It's my man who is just keeping up so much madness every day. Like, do you get what I'm saying? He's got her on the back of the moped. And you see where I'm saying, I keep going to them times I went into school, I went onto the moped, because I'm going to times when this is where we need to get them from. 
Do you get what I'm saying? As I say a lot of the times, bro, when big men answer me back and say this, that, 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 this is what I don't agree with, that, that, I'm not even talking for you, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You're kind of set in your ways, a lot of us. But they're not. So they're there to be... What's the word I'm looking for? They're there to be... Um, trained up for a different like, like with a different mindset they're there for it bro do you get up because because a lot of these kids are just running around like headless chickens not knowing what to do it's sort of why they even remember they get into things because it's what they see and it's what they see what is, is, is what they think is getting results but no one's not telling them that like flat out there's no results so they're still thinking like no 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 but i see this man here and da, 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 but but that man that they're talking about is not telling them everything that they've gone through. So it's still making it's still making the bad side look glamorous. Why do you think I don't talk about it? Because I, I always say I don't really want to talk about something that, not so much something that traumatized me. Why would I want to talk about it? Why do I want to talk about the trap, the ends and this and the, the, it's like a It's like a traumatizing place. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like... I just think for what we for what we've done for so many years, bro, we've got to take it totally somewhere else. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's gonna start somewhere because me, I ain't I ain't celebrated um a homecoming for time. I don't celebrate that shit. Do you get what I'm saying? I celebrate it in my heart. Genuinely I mean that as well. And my guys ain't like that as well. Where they even want that. For a man to be turning up and Fry and drink all over them and this, that, and the other. I'm going to get home, I'm going to get back to it. This is serious. What, what kind of what man's got? Uh, what, yeah, it's serious what man's been through. So us playing games and doing all of this and making it look cool. It looks cool, bro. That's what I'm kind of getting to. It looks cool. We've got we to gotta make these things not look cool. Do you get what I'm saying? The stupidness. We've got to make it not look cool. It doesn't really, it's, it's, it's looking too good. And it's not, because as I said, man went into a prison, bro, and, and, and there's a bag of lost youths in there. And we're out here making it look like, no, no, no. And they're in there dealing with the real shit. From being mistaken, it's not even that, it's not even real, is it? Nope. Do you get what I'm saying? But you lot are thinking it from a young age where they can see it and they can see everyone just getting like attracted to the bad you even in school bro everyone's attracted to the bad you do you get what i'm saying some people because they don't want him to trouble them or this that and the other but even the girl like the, the, like the main guy everyone's attracted to the bad you we've got to change the attraction to the good you from the men to the girls like the like, you know what i'm saying the boys and the girls we've got to change it from the ground up, and we've got to make it look like very attractive to be a good you. Because even when I say to a certain man, you know, no, he's a good you, man, I'm always like, don't you notice that? Yeah, the moment you say he's a good you, it's like, it's an offensive thing. It's like an offensive thing to say. I said it to a man, bro. I goes, nah, you're a proper good you. He's like, nah, tricks, don't say that. What? And you got to start, but bro, if you, if you notice, and this is another thing, let's go upstairs now. Men that have jobs, yeah, they're so humble and so quiet with the way they say, yeah, yeah, man's got a, man's got a job still. Do you get it? But ask a man if he traps. Yeah, cuz, what are you saying? Talk to me. What's the price? See how loud and brazen he is. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's just something, you, you might think that, I think, oh gosh. But you've got to think so small, like down there. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we've got to think like, you got to be brazen with it. It's like when a man stops me and says, you know what, trick? You know I'm working, in it. I'm just, just on, on the sly. I say, not on the sly, bro. Don't tell me you're working on the sly, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Hustling, hustlers are supposed, it's supposed to be a hustling on the side, on, on the sly. You get me? I'm working in the open, bro. You got to say it with your chest. Enough, man, bro. They're even on the gram now. And, and it's like they wouldn't, why wouldn't you say in a caption? I'm a working man, bro. They, they like the trappers. Yeah, like, but I don't want to. I, they don't want to move like the trappers. And, and yeah, it's too fair. I don't want to hot up where I'm at. And, bro, this is a working. Work. You're working, brother, bro. 
I know a guy, big up um, PRB TV, PRBZ. He does that recipe of the day stuff like this, that, and the other. Yeah, but he always films in his like UPS uniform and that. And that's what and, and that's what kind of attracted me to him because I thought, nah, man, big up, man, because you're proud of it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I work. That is a message in itself, bro, doing a video in your uniform. Enough man don't do that, bro. Man, wait till they drop off the work van and jump in their other whip and say, yeah, cuz, walk on, what's the deal, what's the deal? Start snapping up prawns like, the, like, like you ain't just been slaving away on the construction site. Like, that's your life. Snap two prawns and make us think, like, rah, what's he doing? Do you get what I'm saying? But my point being, why I'm saying all of this is, once we let them know the truth, they'll be like, rah, because they probably think my man's a trapper. Do you get what I'm saying? Let them know. Like, it's cool to let them know that I got this through my work. But the only time my man wants to show off his work, I've noticed, is when he's in the industry or when he's a rapper. Yeah, I got this through work. But any other work, they're embarrassed of. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm a delivery driver. I'll do this. Or I'll do that. Any other work, man wants to say, yeah, man's just slightly sh- on this working thing, innit? Nah, bro, you got to say it loud. Do you get what I'm saying? They they, 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 you, they need to hear you, bro. And so, they, Do you get what I'm saying? Because the guy that says that loud, they may be like, rah, I was following my man. I thought he was the trapper of the year. I don't want to do this. He done it through work. I'm going to work, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. Do you get what I'm saying? I took a bit long to get there t- t- today, but it was. We get sort of forced reality, man. So this, in, in this idea in our head of what we want to, like, it's not realistic, man. Mm. You get me? Like, it's not the fucking eighties when man was fucking getting it in a different mm. way. There was fucking crackers around the block, like, bro, it's a whole different world. Mm. There's too much other ways of getting money. Mm. Like, it's like really and truly, like all of this trapping shit is like kind of like the old way of getting money, though. Mm. Like, the new way of getting money is in this digital shit. Mm. Like, if you're yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But that's all, all the digital man them, yeah, are the, the cool are the are, are the punks of yesteryear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for today, they're the lip men, bro. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But they because they're a lot of them as well, they're holding feelings from when the trappers never used to mess with them. They're like, I ain't bothering with, I ain't bothering with no one. Just like the policemen that used to get bullied. A lot of these men, this is why a lot of them won't even and I see it, because they won't bring the the trap star that's come off the block because he was like when i was on the block you man was just going past me with all the girls and now i'm in position like yeah i'm an egypt but i got money do you get what i'm saying and everyone and i'm saying that again because i always like to point out my points and how i'm saying it everyone's fighting amongst each other and not helping each other because we're we're busy fighting against each other and 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 you know like it's like an invisible fight. No one's not touching each other. No one's not really saying nothing to each other. But you're just fighting against each other. You get me invisible. like, And nothing's really going on. So it's kind of just a waste of time. And not concentrating and saying, you know what? Our arguments ain't together. Our, our whole thing is... And my whole thing is, bro. We've got to start policing each other. And looking out for each other. Because we've got bigger problems big recession and this guy and I'm not going to go into all of that but everyone's got bigger problems and these youths are the future these youths are going to be the ones like like they're here now but boy in five to ten they're going to be on some smoky stuff if they're not calmed down and not even and not even calm down so to speak because they're never going to be able to calm all, all like every single person down there's always going to be some idiots. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you, But if you try and control the mindset of the majority, and the majority are just thinking, that's long, that's long, that's long. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I can't be the only one actually denouncing this thing and saying, you know what? It is long. Do you get it? I always, bro, I say, I, I say to man in prison, like, if you've got a phone, man can't sit down in jail with a phone for all of this time. And not do one video from your prison bed and tell the youths this is long. Look where I am, like you get me. Man, waste their time and they're showing off the, the like the cell, the the, the trainers, the, the the food, the noodles. 
Yeah, bro. It's like, and 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 and, I've, and and trust me, I get it, bro. So man's never disrespecting the jailers. They have to understand that. But all I'm saying is, one man with one phone in all these years has, bro. Do you know how much? You know how much? Even even as an idea, do you know how much followers you'll get? Do you get what I'm saying? Every day you just drop a little half an hour of the truth. Man have wrapped in their cell with ten man in there. And not one of them ten man said, you know what? No, no, no. Let's tell these youths, like, this is long, bro. We're going back to our beds after this. But bro, but 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 it, it is a it is a harsh reality, and I'm talking but uh, but that's why I didn't point it to a section of man. I said any man, bro. Thousands are in prison, bro. Any man, bro. Anyone can do it. Do you get me? The legit cool man. No one can't tell him, bro. You're not qualified to. Course I am. I'm here, bruv. So that qualifies me. Everyone's got to stop doing that as well. You see that shit there, bro. I hate it. See when man stop me and they're like, you know what, trick. I'm not really from the streets, but I wanna. You know, I used to live next door to. Well, that's from the streets, then, bro. If you lived next door to a hustler and you lived on a block with a bag of hustlers, you didn't need to be in the gang to be from that world. Because you, it was on your doorstep, bro. So you lived amongst it. You just made other decisions that made you different. Do you get what I'm saying? And because so many men with that, with that attitude, as I was saying, even from, so you know I'm not going off from the whole episode, so humble. I don't even want to say nothing, you know, but like, they've got an opinion, but they don't want to say it because the man, first thing a man's going to say to them, you're not from the streets though. You're not, you're not qualified. Real talk, bro. And you're stopping man from talking you're, and, and saying what it is because he feels he's not qualified. Qualified for what, though, bro? And this is what man don't... Because I, I don't like when man do that, bro. Like, I say, you're all qualified because there's some men that are really, really, really from the streets and they're not qualified. So no one knows how this qualification comes. It just comes as you as a human. There's no certain things you have to do. What do you have to do? Stab free man before you can talk. Yeah. Did, did I say that on the last episode? I, I don't know. Or privately, we've said that, innit? We yeah, privately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, bro. This is why a man from Manchester, a man from Leeds, a man from Birmingham, a man from Bradford, Bolton, London, East, North, South, East, West, white, black, Asian, Turkish, yeah, would all come. Tricky, I hear you, you know. Because not just as a colour, as men. We've got more similarities than we have differences, bro. As men, bro. There's other things that split us up. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. And we got to dig deep. Yeah. That's all. And that's so good that you said that. We see things on a surface level. Yeah? Because everyone's afraid to dig deep. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And when I say dig deep, I mean... The bullshit and that's here. So we're just here. Do you get what I'm saying? But getting past all the bullshit, like, you got to go down here, bro, and see what's going on. And no one ain't got no time for that. Because that's long. Because everything that's up here is litness, prison, death, bullshit, drama. You don't even get past there, bro, to come down and see, bro, is this what's going on in the root? Do you get what I'm saying? You know, like, uh, as I said with the... Um, I kind of said before of a movie I'm doing, I'm going to tell you about that um, on another episode. But it's like a flower and there's a rose there, yeah? And all we can see is the pretty rose on the top. Do you get what I'm saying? But we're not understanding why... Put it this way, basically, there's a pretty rose there. Underneath you've got the earth and then you've got the, the root of where it's come from. All we're doing is just picking off of the pretty rose. Do you get what I'm saying? But, bro, un if we went underneath, we will see that it is poisoned. Do you get what I'm saying? But we're busy just touching the pretty part of the rose because that's all we can see. And that's all we're attracted to. Have I said that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's all we're seeing. So all we've, all someone's got to do, bro, like I.e. myself and other people, put, say it. Rip that blood clot. Bro, that was a good way I, I put that out, innit? Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and I know you understand because you just said it. Rip it out, bro. That's all someone's got to do. Just pull the rose out. 
and say, damn, look, you lot, it's poisoned. That's why everyone's going to prison. That's why everyone's got, um, that's why everyone's dying. That's why this thing's happening. That's why this is going on. That's why these youths don't get along. That's why there's madness and like with the, you, you, you went to school with. It's poison. I'm not, bro, I'm not, I'm not here trying to be Martin Luther King. So I know there's, there's people that people ain't going to get along with. I, like, even I, I have that in my life. Do you get what I'm saying? So, but we're trying to change the narrative. Because I've noticed, even since doing this, there's a lot more good kids than bad kids. The bad kids just get the more attention, so you think there's enough of them. Because the good kids just go into college, go into uni and, and doing these masters. But the bad kid has just stabbed someone. He's on the news. So that's who the nigga you can see. You didn't see the other 10 niggas graduating. Sorry to use the N-word. Sorry about my language to, the, to those. And they're loud. They're like me, bro. It's, it's loud. Everything just loud, bro. Yeah, so it's only the kind of vocal talking point. Yeah. Rather that's doing the normal thing. Yeah. Not paying attention. Yeah. Like, a lot of times they just go straight past them. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent, bro. And that happens ninety percent of the time. Yeah. And exactly like you said there, it's got to be changed in a certain way. Do you know what I mean? And it can only be changed by mindsets, bro. But by our way of thinking, and just thinking a little deeper. As I said, bro, I'm not trying to tell my dad, yeah, stop doing this. Da, da, da. No, I'm just gonna leave. Um things there so you can listen to it and you can say you know what maybe he's right if you don't think i'm right you're, you like i hope it goes well for you i'm not gonna wish nothing bad on no one because they don't believe in me do you understand what i'm saying but yeah from the ground up yeah man Mm. If that's what they celebrate, if yeah. you're a bad guy and it filters into everyone's life in some shape or form, whether it's music, film, whatever, you know the shit bangs. Mm. And as people, as individuals as well, you focus on that. That's the thing, you come back down to school, niggas are just, like, if the teachers are giving all the attention to that. And I said to you the other day, I was supposed to go to my fucking, uh, my... Sorry, my, I was supposed to go to you. Yeah, yeah. alright, yeah. I can hear from you from here. Like, like I said before the other day, I was going to my fucking head teacher's fucking... Leaving, Blazemore, mm. Mr. Hartley, big him up anyway. Mm. Fuck, he wouldn't even remember me. Why would he remember me? I was quiet as fuck yeah. in school. Yeah. He knew every bad kid though. Yeah. Yeah. Every bum fucker. Yeah. Like yeah. But it's like I told you about the block. Yeah. If every man, every man, the good brothers and the bad brothers, we all come from estates and, and, and different backgrounds. North, South, East, West, wherever, Liverpool, Leeds, wherever, Wells. We've all come from bad places. Everyone remembers what happened to the bad you? What happened to the good you? He could be owning 14 properties in Ghana, 16 properties in Europe, but you don't know because he was a good you. But the bad you, you can tell us what happened to all the bad youths. Don't you notice that? If I ask you about all the bad youths in your area, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, you know my man died. You know, you know my man, my, you know my man turned to drugs, didn't it? Yeah, you know my, my man's doing like 18 years. We know every single thing that happened to every single bad you in our area. But one of the good youths would be like, boy, you know, no, nah, pfft. Bro, I heard he just done the married thing. He's done more than the married thing, you know. But man would just be like, oh, he's just married. Got goals, isn't it? Yeah, he's goals. Yeah. Yeah. These times you call his Facebook and you see the Yeah. Oh, my God, my God, my yeah, because man don't care, bro. It's and, and and it's 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 just as I'm as I'm I'm pointing out all of these things just to let people know, yeah. To show you. It's just our, it's all in our mind and our way of thinking. So we immediately just don't care about him, bro. Because we're trained and we're set to care about the bad you. Do you get what I'm saying? This is why a good you, even on the, on the lower scale, on the smaller scale of things, a good person can walk past you and you wouldn't even notice him. A bad person, he just by his bop. You're eyeing him. Do you get what I'm saying? Just by his walk, just by his energy. Do you get what I'm saying? Still getting all the attention. But we've got to change it for our youth. We've got to make it look like... We've got to make it look cool to go college. We've got to make it look cool to go university. We've got to make it look cool. That's like, great, yeah, man. Even if you do want to rap, it's not a problem. It doesn't mean you're, you... You don't have to be from the streets to rap. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Create your rap style. Like, 
and, and base it around what you've done in your life. Because if you lived a life, even for 15, 20 years, and it, even if it ain't been on the streets, yeah, you've lived a life. Stop being, and, and, and I've mentioned it a couple of times in this episode, stop being embarrassed about what you do, like. Like, you work, you work. So what, bro? Say it with your chest, like. You love your girl, you love your girl. So what? Say it with your chest, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You ain't been prison, you ain't been prison. I see man, like, up in their sentence, like. I'll be like, right, I only done, like, two months. I'll be like, no, 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 I done. Yeah, I got a look. A little six, and he's saying months, you know, but he's just just trying to leave it. Yeah, stop trying to, cause there's some man, bro. They're not about that, and they're trying to be that guy. It's less pressure. Take the pressure off yourself. Don't even try and be him. Just be you. Do you get what I'm saying? And on that note, I always have to. You, you got anything to say? No, 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 no. Yeah, and on that note, cause I think that was nice, short and sweet, you know. And I think we did touch a, a good few points. I'm sorry I had to talk a bit long to get into this episode. I want to thank everyone for their support, first and foremost, man. Um, before we go, like over the, the 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 last how many episodes, it's been amazing. It's been immense. Like um, everyone that I met the other day at the gala, love, man. Nothing but love to you, man. God bless. www.lexstars.co.uk. Big Briss behind the camera. Is there anything I forgot? Dame Dash, Tricky, Nikki Slimting. Get your tickets at um live at the O2 www.beinspiredlive.com. Bow!